Oh, wait. Blurry. Is that not blurry? Why has it not got me in? Hi, everyone. Ah. How are you all doing? So, today I've not actually. Uh, get me in it. Oh, sorry, darling. Today I've not actually been feeling well, have I? That's nice. Don't you worry. I've been really poorly today. Really poorly, I've been looking after her. Tom had to make me leak a lentil soup because I was so poorly. I've managed to pull myself together and put my glam oh, on. Great. Oh, thanks, Tommy. And Olivia has done my hair for me. Can you believe that she's actually 14 and she's done that to my hair? Show everyone. Oh, when you came those stairs, I was like, oh, that's got that. She is so talented. For her age. For her age. Tonight, we are off to the Eleanor Charity Ball. <laughs> which... Oh, shut up. Yes, yeah, so we're off to the Eleanor Charity Ball, which is a charity that Thomas is a patron of. You are as well. I'm kind of a patron. patron. You're like a, like your, I'm an ambassador. Is yeah. that the right word? Same yeah. thing, isn't ambassador and patron? Same thing. Ish. But basically, I go to all the events as well as support the charity. When we did Mr. and Mrs., it was for the Ellen charity. Um, and we did a walk the other day. You guys have seen everything about Eleanor. Tonight is their annual charity ball yeah. where they do loads of auctioning and what else they do. Oh, what am I auctioning? Oh, Tom is auctioning a. What are you doing? Are you doing a behind the scenes tour? Behind the scenes? <laughs> no, backstage. Backstage. Who is behind the scenes? Not really. Well, we're. Uh... Back Stage tour, not behind the scenes. Yeah. Backstage tour, Greece, and two tickets. So people are going to bid for that tonight. So hopefully, you'll raise a lot of money. Uh, raise about how much? How much? What, what do you pay for? Four hundred quid. Three four hundred quid. Two tickets oh, and behind the uh, backstage. Oh, you can say behind the scenes too. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I reckon about three four hundred pounds. Yeah. Might be more. Who knows? Who knows? I can't remember what you raised last year. What did you raise? What last, did, what did even give last year you went on. Yeah, get me anymore. I'm oh, sorry, darling. Um, last year. Me and Tom go. Me and Tom. <laughs> you did. Um, you went out for a meal. Oh yeah, that was great. Oh my god. What have we got? One Lombard. And I was never been to. Yeah, but why have you never took me afterwards? You said you was gonna take me, and you still haven't. It was rubbish. <laughs> Tonight will be really emotional as well because um, some of the families come along and they tell their stories and last year I was an emotional wreck. I'll try and film some stories for you all tonight. We have just arrived at the Grange Hotel in St Paul's. How cool is this that Eleanor have got? That is so cool for Eleanor. Hands. <laughs> if you think what I say is correct, we're going to do this as an antique. 
Right. Come on, team. We're going to do this. Is it a team? Or is it No. It's individual. It's just saying. You Here we go. Tick. Yeah. Okay. First All right, we're getting angry a bit. Get angry. Is it true? Was it false? I think that's true. I don't have a clue. Phil, tell me. Because he's moved recently. I'm going up. I'm going up. Me and Tom are going different. Oh my god, we're different, babe. We're different. I'm going up my way. Bill met his wife in South London nightclub. True. Okay. He might have met a family old Kemp. Yeah. Yes. 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 No, no. It is true. No. Oh, get out. no way. No way. What book have you been looking at? <laughs> no. I'm Alfie and I'm seven. This is my little brother, Tiffany, and he's two. We were told he was going to die. Yeah. And we didn't want him to die. We wanted him to come home so he knew what the was. And we wanted Alfie to be his brother. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't want him to know that we had a baby and then our baby died and never really met him. I'm Alicia and I work for Eleanor. Eleanor is a charity um, for families and children facing terminal illness. He basically had a seizure in my arms and it became very apparent that he was very, very poorly. They done some blood tests and other tests and it came out that he had ruby shirt and giants. Which then led to which then caused severe brain damage that was not going to repair itself. I think it was day three or four of his life they basically said that he wasn't going to make it and the kindest thing would be to turn his ventilator off and let him go. So we did that. We said our goodbyes. I've asked him for the first time because that's what I wanted to do. And we did his handprints and footprints and waited. And he decided he had other ideas. We didn't get in touch with that man actually. No. What happened was when after he was really boiling in the hospital and we decided that we wanted to come home because we were told that he'd only have a few weeks. And it was really stressful and he'd driving up there every day and yeah. driving home. So we were out the here and he was only four at the time. But it's just when he was on antibiotics still, wasn't it? Yes. And he needed someone to come in and give him his IV antibiotics. So they contacted the head of the nurses to come and give him his antibiotics. Yeah. I thought, we don't really need this, do we? We don't need more people in our life. They're just going to interfere with getting in the way. <coughs> and they didn't much further away there. But it came with Harris quite quickly, didn't it? Yeah. The best thing. Yeah. You are the one, you are the one, woo! We've got a very famous artist in the room. Very famous artist. Wah, 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 not that famous. Well, no, uh, one, <laughs> the wanted fame. Yeah! I'm glad you came. Um, and once you're going to get to this, is you're going to get two tickets for this incredible West End production. Um, which Tom Parker now stars in. Uh, and he's going to get a chance to go backstage. Do you want to come up and tell us about Yeah, go on, Tom. Darren Day! Tom Parker. Is any fans of Greece in the room? Uh, yeah, like, uh, you, you, you get two tickets, the best seats in the house. Um, you get to come backstage with the cast. Um, Darren Day, you know, knows Darren Day. He's going to be playing um, the Angel. Woo! Spend good, spend a lot. Do it. So we got 500 quid in it. We got 500 quid in it. We have 500, sir. Thank you. Good. 1,000. Woo! Yeah! 1,100, 1,200 we want. We want 1,200. Keep it going. Wonderful for the charity. I don't know. Need so many. 1,200, 1,300. One more. 13. We have 14. We have 15. We have 16. And you'll see backstage 17, not that good. 18, <laughs> not that anybody good. else want to chip in? 19. Oh my this god! Is the big if you go 19, she's going to get 
Do they know I'm playing Sam? Two thousand pounds. Two thousand. Going twice. All done. Guarantee you, Madam. Thank you. Yeah. We've got one of this country's greatest superstars, well, him and Oscar, you know, that's him, uh, on stage here. And he has put up a little item here just for fun, to see if we can make some more money for Eleanor. And the idea is that you, on your table, are going to bid for him to sing the first song of the evening when you get up here to dance. So you're going to have a real big performance here uh, from Tom Parker, and I want you to bid. And if you do bid, you have a, you come on stage or appoint someone on your table to come up and sing the last verse with him. <laughs> 300, madam, thank you very much. Uh, 400, is it 400 that I hear? No, 400 pounds we have on your table. Table 18, I wonder who's going to be the singer in that lot. We've got 400 very marks on table 18. 500 pounds, table 17, and we've got 500 going once on table 17. Going twice. So 500 pounds, are you all done? Go on to your 17, thank you very much. Tommy Brennan, great effort. Thanks so much. I can't believe that you raised two thousand pounds. We can't remember what he, what happened last year and what he he got last year. Oh, do you know what? But I think you absolutely smashed it this year. Do you know what? I was really nervous. Why was you nervous? When you when you up there and the other things, it's like because you feel like a sense of pressure. It's like you want to raise as much as you can do. Do you know what I mean? Tommy's going to sing us a song. Say so rock and roll. Hello everyone. How are you leaving? How are you all enjoying your night? Go for it. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone coming tonight, digging deep into your pockets, raising money for such an amazing charity. I've been involved with it now for two years, and I can honestly say, it's one of the best I things I've ever done in my life. So thank you so much. I'm going to sing a little song. We've got this table that kindly donated, so let's do this.
right guys, we just got home from the charity ball and it was such a good night. I think when we left, what did we raise Tom? What had we raised by the time we left? Yeah, what was it? Over 50 grand had been raised already tonight. And then on Monday, we'll know the full amount what got raised. So a fantastic night for Eleanor and everyone. And we're so proud and happy to be a part of such an amazing charity. Love you all, I've had such a good night. See you all soon, see you Tuesday, bye. Love you.